Mind Metaphor Project on the Roadmap to Application. The first stage is trust versus mistrust, and I compare this to step one of traveling, which is the itinerary. You're doing the scheduling of where you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep, you're going to take a train, bus, or a plane, and where in the world you're going to go. So for me, this is a picture of my mom and I, and she kind of like roadmapped my feeding schedule and my napping schedule and all those things. She kind of had control of that because I was too young to figure it out myself. Um, autonomy versus shame and doubt is the second stage, and this happens when you're a toddler. Um, so you're getting, being able to get your own suitcase and pick out your own outfits in order to pack it instead of your mom doing everything for you. So um, in this stage, you're gaining muscular control and you're able to satisfy some of your own basic needs on your own, like dressing yourself. So my mom encouraged this self-sufficient behavior in me um, and this kind of choice, even though sometimes I packed outfits like that in my suitcase, she still let me, it was great. Mm -hmm. Um, the third stage is initiative versus guilt, which happened in preschool. So my family called it bringing your fun pack backpack. Mm -hmm. So this kind of meant having the choice and the activities and the different things that um, you put in that backpack to bring on either the road trip or the plane ride. Mm -hmm. So for me, my mom like kind of supported this independence in my planning. And I always brought my American Girl doll, my um, magnetic dolls, I love those, put the different outfits on them, my flat Stanley and the book that went with it, because every trip I went on, I always like took a picture, and my Tamagotchi, because I love taking care of pets. <laughs> Industry versus inferiority happens in the elementary years. And for me, this is step four, taking pictures and capturing that moment. So my dad, in, the, in this way, kind of captured my um, interest in learning how to use a camera. So he taught me how to use his Polaroid and I finally got a digital camera, but I kind of had my own independence in exploring what I took pictures of. And when I got home, I always printed out um, a picture from my trip and put it on the state that it correlated with. So then like, as I got older, I could see all the states that I went to. So we kind of encouraged and praised those interests of mine. Identity versus role confusion happened for me in adolescence. And this was when I went to Europe for the first time. So this is this part of the trip where you're sightseeing and you're taking in everything that you're seeing. So for me, I had kind of role confusion at first because I had mixed ideas and feelings of where I fit into all these new countries I've never traveled to before. So as you can see, it looks a lot different than it does here. And I kind of had a culture shock in that way because they were such unknown places and I wasn't comfortable with it at first. But slowly, I was able to find my identity with it all and know that I love to travel to new countries. Intimacy versus isolation happens in young adulthood. <coughs> this is where I am currently. So this is, you're finding your identity, you know what it is, and you're ready to make those long-term mutual loving commitments and connections and relationships with others. So this is my boyfriend Braxton, and this summer we traveled, and we went from Illinois to Florida on a road trip and back. And these are some of my best friends, and we traveled to the UP. So this is the step of the trip where you're deciding who you're gonna see on the trip and who comes with along the way. These are some more of my friends um, and all like kind of the adventures and road trips that we've gone on together. Generativity versus stagnation. This occurs in middle age. This is where my parents are currently. And this is step seven. It's the destinations that you are going to go on your trip. So this is when we went to Europe for the second time and we went to Sweden. And this is because my parents wanted to kind of pass on our family traditions and um, be open to more different cultures than what we were used to. So they wanted to contribute back to our homeland of Sweden. And my parents wanted to be selfless in that way and feel fulfilled that they have like given back to our younger generations of relatives that we had never met before. So we went to several um, destinations. These are um, some of the family that we met. It was such a cool experience. Um, and some things that differ from what I was used to and what was really cool to be able to give back was we like went in the Red Sea, it's like right outside their house, and we like swam and found all these starfish. My great, great, great grandpa made this like um, kind of like boathouse, and you can see the inside up there. They go fishing for all their food on the Red Sea, and they like catch all these crabs, and right outside their house they just have all these like stray animals. And it was so beautiful, and it was really cool to see how my parents really gave back in that way. The last stage is integrity versus despair. So this is retirement. So this is the part of the trip where you're finding home and kind of going back home. So the plane's landing to all the destinations that you've been to and that you were once in. You're kind of looking at the map um, and kind of looking back at where you've gone and feeling fulfilled in that. So
so I hope by the time I get to the stage, this is one side of my grandparents and that's the other side. I couldn't find a uh, current picture, so I found their wedding photo. And I hope that I feel fulfilled and happy um, with no unachieved goals to all the places I've traveled and look back at all the roads, routes, and seas I've traveled across.